Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, all of you. Voice is not clear. Huh? My voice is clear or not, both audio and video. Monishwa, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Rangapriya, Binaya, Havan. Yeah. Guru Prasad, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Ajitesh. Jay Bharati. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Okay, so today we are not going to discuss about that new topic. Okay, so after uh, two days or three days only, we are going to start the new topic. Good afternoon, everyone. Jivita. Yeah, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> why? Because and many of the student many of our students okay are not doing the homework problems properly and they're not uh, attending the test also properly okay so you were Right, uh, your internal marks. You will write the midterm test or quarterly test, every test for only 80 marks. Okay, your internal marks is based on only your homework problems and Saturday test. Marks Saturday based on your Saturday test mark and based on your homework problems. Okay, so many of the students are not doing the homework problems properly and many of the students are not writing the notes also properly relevant okay some students are very active but many of the students are not active not doing the not writing the classroom problem itself and uh, some of the students are not doing the former problems also properly some of the students are doing former problems and they're not uploading in learnity and some students are sending to my whatsapp number no Please don't send your homework problems to my WhatsApp number. You please upload your homework problems in our Learnity website. 
okay in learn it homework problem option is there homework okay in homework go for uh, some 12th need 11th need student choose 11th need okay and uh, 11th need and choose your max subject is max and upload it okay so otherwise you contact your learnity people okay so they will inform you how to upload your homework problems okay so if you are not doing homework problems eventual mark will be zero if you are doing homework problems and not uploading then also you will get zero marks okay if you are doing homework problems and sending to my whatsapp number then also you will get zero marks okay the only thing is the only way only idea uh, is you complete the homework problems and upload in our learnity okay every day so what about the last week homework problems are you upload the last week homework problems also yeah yeah i will come yes yes monisha ramesh are you contact ramesh ramesh sir if uh, your friends also getting any difficulty means you please help them okay so please some of the students are already uploaded some of the students are have an idea to upload you please discuss with yourself and get an idea or contact ramesh sir and uh, please upload it properly okay so therefore in max your internal max based on your homework problems and saturday test okay right so so therefore this is very important sir i am i have completed all the homework problems sir but i am not uploaded and I, everything i am keep it in my home sir so you will get zero mark only yeah you upload all the homework problems previous last week homework problems also and this week today's homework problems also today i will give some homework problems you please work out that problems also and upload it every day you upload your formal problems every day day by day okay in you please open it okay please open that 11th batch it is clearly mentioned it is outside the file i think it is not mentioned but go to the inside the file you please open uh, 11th batch one and batch two both or uh, whatever the 11th max is given need you please open it okay and open it and go, uh, see that in the title it is clearly mentioned this is for 11th batch 1 and 11th batch 2 okay my screen is not visible now my screen yeah visible okay so you please check your internet my screen is and uh, audio both are uh, clear for everybody you please uh, check your internet okay and another request somebody if you have uh, any doubt in saturday test if you have any doubt you please i have already given my number you please contact me immediately 9842459264 okay if any technical problems sir the test is not opening for me or only out of 20 questions i am getting only 30 questions uh, 15 questions uh, out of 25 questions i am getting only 20, 20 questions my time is uh, time one hour but uh, 45 minutes the test will be over sir whatever it is if you have any technical problem contact learnity people ramesh sir if you have any doubt in our question sir this question i am getting wrong answer sir this question correct answer sir this question giving this answer sir that question giving this answer sir if you have any problem in our questions and answers you please contact me immediately i will reply you immediately i will reply okay immediately i will explain you so many of the students contacted me 11th students many student message me sir what is that this doubt that doubt i replied everyone okay so please look at that uh, you please ask your doubts what are the your doubts and one student this week test portion is relation and function this week 
chapter 2 relations and functions chapter 2 full chapter relation and functions okay right and some students asked doubts in our learning yes date of submitting is also important definitely definitely date of submission is also important this is my number yeah uh, romanisha romanisha yeah what is your answer what is the question please uh, tell me the question tell me the question yeah please ask your doubts please ask your doubts saturday test okay okay you ask your uh, formal problems if you have any doubt you ask it now so you are a batch 2 only you can answer only for batch 2 sorry you are a batch 1 i am sorry you are a batch 1 student you answer for the uh, batch 1 questions test saturday test saturday morning 10 am it is not possible yes we will discuss the saturday test uh, questions some students ask the doubts in saturday test question rahul is there rahul asked some doubt i think once again i will take the question some student asked doubts in the question okay look at that so if one question if a is equal to for x x is equal to n square n is equal to 1 2 3 okay so the number of proper subset the number of proper subsets okay number of proper subsets or subsets are dash okay so what are the a uh, number of elements of a so if you apply n is equal to 1 i will get 1 square 1 apply n is equal to 2 2 square 2 square is my x 4 okay apply 3 3 square it is 9 what are the number of subsets so this is my empty set is a subset single 1 single 10 4 single 10 3 1 comma 4 is my proper subset okay so 1 comma 9 is my proper subset 4 comma 9 is my proper subset but look at that this 1 4 9 the whole set the whole set is a subset but this is not a proper subset okay these are proper subsets please look at that these are proper subsets of a okay this is improper subset this is called as improper 
process. Are you okay? Right. So totally, how many subsets are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven only. So, so many of the students are including this also. This is not a proper subset. This is called as improper subset. So therefore, the answer is seven. Number of proper subsets is seven only. Are you okay? I understand. And look at that, the next one, some of the students are getting confusion in which of the following set is an empty set. The next one, which of the following set? Yes, improper. Proper subset, that is an improper subset. Okay. So now look at that. Which of the following set is an empty set? Which of the following set is an empty set? Okay, look at my option. Uh, yeah. First one is not for A. First option is A is equal to set of all X. And my 2X plus 5 is equal to 6. My X belongs to N. Okay, now look at that. My 2X plus 5 equal to 6. So what is my 2X is equal to 6 minus 5. So this is 6 minus 5. This is 1 by 2. My 1 by 2 is not in my N. So therefore, there is no natural number, no natural number, no natural number satisfying this equation. So therefore, this is my empty set. Are you okay? This is my empty set. No natural number satisfying this 2x plus 5 equal to 6. Okay. So therefore, okay. Yeah, very good. So that this is my empty set. Please no, look at that. And some students are getting uh, confusion in which one of the following set is a singleton set. Which of the following is a singleton set. Okay, the first option is set of all the x. x is an integer. x is an integer and x is e, x square is equal to 16. My set B, uh, second option, Set of all x, x is an integer. Okay, and my x square minus one is equal to 120. X is a positive integer. Here x is a positive integer. My third option is set of all x, x is an integer. Here x is an integer and my x square is equal to x and b all the above. Now look at that. So x is an integer. Integer means if you solve this, I will get it as uh, plus 4 also satisfying this equation, minus 4 also satisfying this equation. So therefore my plus 4 comma minus 4 belongs to this set. So x is an integer as well as satisfying this. My plus 4 also satisfying this and minus 4 also satisfying this. Both are integers. Okay. Now look at that. In this one, x is a positive integer. Here look at that. My plus 11 also satisfying this 
minus 11 also satisfying this. Apply 11, my x is equal to 11, 11 square, 121 minus 1. Okay, that is 120. My plus 11 also satisfying this, minus 11 also that satisfying this. But look at that, my x is a positive integer. So therefore, only plus 11 only. Don't take it as minus 11. Here, look at that, my 0 also satisfying this. x is an integer, 0 is an integer. Okay, 0 also satisfying this, 0 square is equal to 0. My 1 square is also 1. Minus 1 does not satisfy, but plus 1 satisfies this. So therefore, 0 comma 1. Now look at that, which is singleton. What is the meaning of singleton? Singleton means the set with only one element, exactly one element. Okay, the set with only one element is called as my singleton. So therefore, this is my singleton. This is not a singleton. This is not a singleton. All the above is also not correct. Are you okay? Some student asked, many student asked the same doubt. Many students send a doubt through Learnity. Okay, so instead of asking Learnity, you please uh, send a message to me directly. I will send the answers to you. Okay. Yeah, set of all integers. Malus of x minus 3 is less than 2. What is the answer for that? Proper subset means, so please uh, look at that. What is proper subset? A is a proper subset. Proper subset of B means A is a subset of B and A not equal to B. A is a subset, but A not equal to B. That is called as a proper subset. See the definition, proper subset. Okay, it is uh, the definition given in your book also. You please go through the book. So many of the many students are not taking your notes also, not go through the book also. You please go through the book. That is very important. Okay. And some student asking some doubt in a max teacher problem. Yes, now look at that. This problem also, the set of all integers. the set of all integers x such that modulus of x minus 3 less than 2 is equal to dash first option 1 2 3 4 5 okay b 1 2 3 4 c 2 3 4 Okay, my D, D is minus 4, minus 3, minus 2. Now come to that. First one, if you apply 5, what is the answer? If you apply 5, what is the answer? 5 minus 3 is 2. Modulus of 2 is also 2. Okay, modulus of 2 is also 2. So therefore, 2 is less than 2. This is correct or not? This is wrong. 2 less than or equal to 2, that is correct. But 2 less than 2 is wrong one. So therefore, this 5 never satisfies this equation. Are you okay? So this 5 never satisfies this equation. Therefore, this answer is not correct. Okay. Now come to that and this one. Apply 1 here. Apply 1. What is the answer? 1 minus 3 minus 2 less than 2. Okay, my modulus of minus 2 is also 2, 2 less than 2. So therefore, here 1 does not satisfy. Okay, here uh, 5 does not satisfy this inequality. 1 does not satisfy this inequality. Okay, if you apply here, this apply 2 here, 2 minus 3, it is 1, 1 less than 2. 3 minus 3, 0, 0 less than 2. Apply 4, 4 minus 3, 1, 1 less than what 2. So that is correct. So therefore, all these elements satisfying this inequality. 
okay and this is not uh, satisfying that okay why suppose i am applying minus 4 here minus 4 minus 3 what is the answer minus 7 okay so my modulus of minus 7 is nothing but 7 7 less than 2 this is correct no so therefore this is not satisfied this is not satisfied so these values not satisfy this inequality only this one is satisfies this inequality are you okay any doubt yeah very good okay please take that we'll go for to the next problem Uh, look at that uh, this problem in your school there are 20 teachers who teach uh, mathematics or physics of these 12 uh, teach mathematics and four teachers teach both mathematics and physics the number of teachers teaching only physics are okay so the answer is eight but some students are thinking that it is 12 so in the ncrt also the question is given 12 only so you are giving the answer is eight so they have posted some doubts in our learnity so look at that problem in ncrt and this problem i we have changed only one word in ncrt that example problem is the question is the number of teachers teaching six but here read the question carefully here we have changed the question slightly the question is the number of teachers teaching only physics teaching physics is different from only physics please try to understand that okay so please uh, in ncrt the same we are not asking the sometimes we are asking that same ncrt question okay sometimes we have to change the question okay so the same question sir it is not the same question some students are thinking about that sir it is same question given in ncrt but you are giving the wrong answer and uh, i am getting the 12 i put that 12, uh, 12 is the answer but i am getting negative mark okay so this is not your ncrt same question we have slightly changed the question in ncrt then i am explaining that question only in ncrt the question is yeah i am reading the question again uh, in a school 20 teachers are there 20 teachers okay in this 20 teachers uh, in a school there are 20 teachers who teach mathematics or physics so that means 20 teachers teach mathematics or physics okay right so of these 12 teach mathematics okay totally 20 teachers they are teaching either mathematics or physics. Okay, of these 12 teach mathematics. Mathematics, how many teachers teaching? Only 12. Okay, and four teachers teach both mathematics and the physics. So, maths and the physics. So, that is equal to four. Okay, so then the number of teachers teaching only physics is. So, now look at that this diagram this is my mathematics this is my physics how many teachers teach both max and physics four okay how many teachers teach mathematics only so that is 12 but 12 minus 4 this is 8 please try to understand so if you consider mathematics this is totally 12 if you consider this mathematics Please try to understand. If you consider this mathematics, this is 12. Okay. But mathematics only means, mathematics only means this is the answer. 8 is the answer. If I'm asking the question, mathematics only. So look at that. The question is 12 teach mathematics. That means 12 teachers are teaching mathematics. In this 12, some teachers teach some other subject also. But I'm changing the question. 12 teach mathematics only means 
they are not teaching any other subject either physics or not other subject okay so therefore 12 teach mathematics means so here already four teachers are teaching mathematics remaining eight okay how many teachers teach only physics that is this is i don't know this is my x totally how many teachers are there 20 all are teaching any of the subject mathematics or physics or both okay so therefore this is 8 plus 4 plus x is equal to 20 so this is 12 20 minus 12 the answer is 8 only not 12 please try to understand okay in your ncrt they are asking physics only physics uh, sorry physics how many teachers uh, teaching physics teaching physics is this is actually 8 okay 8 plus 4 12 mathematics how many teachers ma teaching mathematics this 8 plus 4 12 this is not in that meaning sir both it will be 24 sir here you are having only 20 sir no so what is the formula for that my n of a union b is equal to formula n of a plus n of b okay minus n of a intersection b this is a formula okay what is my n of a union b this is 20 okay n of a is 12 n of b is 12 okay minus n of a intersection b is 4 so this is 24 minus 4 you will get 20 okay so please uh, try to understand yeah yeah Moneshwar. Okay, so some students are uh, getting confusion about that NCRT problem and this problem. So we are slightly changing the problem. That's why he is con confusing that, I think. And that student is there. Are you understand this problem, the student? So some student asking doubts in that. I don't know which student. That student understood yeah okay very good yeah yeah i will explain one by one which one understand threes e threes which one you are not understanding this problem or previous problem Just a minute, just a minute. I will teach one by one. Yeah, look at that. So look at the question. A 20 teachers are there. They are teaching either max or physics. 12 teachers teach uh, mathematics. Four teachers teaching mathematics and physics. Look at that. This is my both mathematics and physics. These the number of teachers, four teachers teaching max and physics, both. Okay, 12, 12 teaching mathematics means already four teachers teaching mathematics, they are inside the circle, inside the max circle. Okay, the remaining from this 12 minus 4, this is my 8. That means this one, 8 teachers, they are teaching only max. Okay, right. How many are teachers are teaching only physics? That I don't know. Take it as x. So therefore, this only max teaching faculty and only physics teaching faculty and both teaching faculty, that total number will be 20. Okay, so therefore, this 8 plus 4, it is 12 plus x. Okay, so that's equal to 20. So therefore, solve this. Okay, you will get the answer. Are you okay? Okay, so don't worry about that. Uh, if you are getting less mark or uh, if you are not attending, you please concentrate the next test. Okay. Okay, what is the another doubt? This giant sets, huh?
the question number what question you are asking this joint sets which of the following sets are equal okay disjoint empty set just now we have discussed now uh, which of the following sets are disjoint yeah come to that which of the following pair are disjoint sets what is meaning of disjoint my a intersection b is empty there is no common element for the first set and second set then a and b are called as disjoint a and b are disjoint are you okay if a intersection b is empty then my a and b are disjoint what is my first option my first option is my a is given as x x square minus 5x plus 6 equal to 0 my x belongs to r okay my b is equal to n uh, n square minus 7 n plus 12 my n belongs to n okay solve this quadratic equation solve this quadratic equation okay if here if you are getting different answer here if you are getting different uh, answers okay so there is no common roots means then these two are disjoint okay and b uh, a is x is a prime okay and b what is my b x is even integer okay so what is my a actually x is a prime means 2 3 5 7 okay etc what is my b my b is even integers 2 4 6 8 okay what is my intersection my intersection is empty or not no my intersection is not empty look at that 2 is there so therefore this answer is not not these two are not disjoint intersection is not equal to empty okay what is my c option my option c yes my a is equal to some x 4 x square minus 9 equal to 9 x belongs to r my b is equal to x 3x square minus 11x plus 6 equal to 0 x belongs to r okay so this is my a this is my b so you have to solve these two equations when you solve these two equations what we are getting here x square is equal to 9 by 4 my x is equal to plus or minus 3 by 2 okay here you solve this uh, equation quadratic equation what is the answer you are getting and the last option is none of this okay so when you solve this this equation 3x square minus 11x plus 6 if you are getting different answer from this 3 by 2 plus or minus 3 by 2 then these two are joined this you are now look at that my a having plus 3 by 2 minus 3 by 2 what is my b in the c option what is my b b is 3x square minus 11x plus 6 uh, 3x square minus 11x plus 6 equal to 0 so therefore this is 18 okay and split it into minus 11 okay how to split that what is the answer split that is equal to 3 by 2 are you right 2 by 3 so therefore here the answer is 2 by 3 comma 3 so look at that what is my a intersection b my a intersection b is empty empty means 
this is my disjoint so option c answer is c all right okay so these two so similarly find out the solution for this quadratic equation only find the solution of this find the solution of this okay are you clear any other doubt very good which question you want previous question this one or this one this one it is a very simple question why you are getting so much of confusion please try to understand in your school there are 20 teachers totally 20 teachers so you consider in your school there are 20 teachers in this 20 teachers okay all the 20 are teaching max and the physics that means some faculty are teaching max some faculty are teaching physics some are teaching both that is the meaning either they are teaching either max or physics either max or physics mean they are teaching at least one subject at least one they are teaching all the 20 are teaching some are teaching max some are teaching physics some are teaching both okay now the our next information is 12 teachers are teaching max so this is not in that meaning of 12 teachers are teaching max alone in this 12 some teachers may be teach physics some teachers may not be teach physics okay i don't know how many but all these 12 teachers are teaching max and i don't know how many teachers teaching additionally physics and how many are not teaching additionally physics right now look at that another information is given four teachers teaching max and physics totally totally max and physics the teachers four teachers are teaching max and physics come to the venn diagram this is my venn diagram taking max and physics here come to this max and physics intersection this is the intersection part in this intersection part i am taking my four okay right so now come to that the remaining max teachers already four max teachers are there if you consider max okay here eight are there here four are there they are already in max only okay four plus twelve four plus eight it is twelve max teachers okay so okay how many te uh, teachers teaching physics alone that i don't know i am taking x so now totally eight teachers teaching max alone four teachers teaching both x teachers teaching physics eight plus four plus x then totally how many teachers 20 okay so therefore my x is equal to eight are you okay are you clear any other doubt i hope you can easily understand yeah what doubt subraja Newspaper question. Yeah, that's all very simple. From max, okay, totally 12 are teaching. Uh, you subtract that, you will get the answer. Newspaper question is there. Yeah, which of the following set is a finite set? Some student asking that. Which of the following set is a finite set? Which of the following is finite? Option A. Set of all x, x is an integer. X is an integer and my x square greater than zero. Option B. Okay, my set is set of all x, x is an in, uh, set of all x, x belongs to R. 
x square plus 3x plus 2 equal to 0. Okay. Option C, x is an integer less than 20. X is an integer less than 20. Okay, option D, the last set is both B and C. Now look at that. My X square greater than zero. What is my one square? One square is greater than zero or not? X is an integer. I can take it as an integer and X square should be greater than zero. My one square is greater than zero. Yes, my two square is greater than zero. My three square is greater than zero. My four square is greater than zero. Four is an integer and four square is greater than zero. My five is an integer and greater than zero. My six is an integer and greater than zero and etc. It is going on. This is an infinite set. Look at the question. Question is finite set. Now look at this one. Okay. X is an integer less than 20. Less than 20 means what is the answer? Uh, integer 19 is less than 20. Integer 18. Okay. 17, 16 and etc. 0, minus 1, minus 2. All these are integers. So therefore, this is also infinity. Okay. Now come to this. Your x set of all x, x is a real number and x is satisfying this equation. Look at that. This is a quadratic equation. How many solution you will get it? How many solution you will get it for this quadratic equation? Only two. Only two. You don't solve it. You take it as some x1 and x2. That's all. You take it as you don't, don't solve, don't waste your time, don't solve. You will get only two solution. First solution is take it as x1, second solution is take it as x2. In this, which is finite, this is infinite, this is infinite, this is, it has only two elements, therefore this is finite. Are you okay? Are you clear? Are you clear? Where is the newspaper sum? Newspaper sum is there. Uh, in a survey of among 5,000 people, 2,950 read Hindu newspaper and 2,800 read Indian Express and 900 read both. How many people read exactly one of these uh, two newspapers? What is the answer? Number of people read exactly one of these two newspapers. How to find out the answer? So I hope you are understanding this question. C is infinite. Less than 20, kana. Integers less than 20. My minus 1 is an integer, minus 2 is an integer. It is goes on up to minus infinity. Yes, are you not understanding this? C is infinite. Are you understanding or not? C is my infinite. Positive integers means no problem. What you are asking somebody, Praveen, two finite sets have M and N elements, the number of subsets of the first set is 112 more than the second set, then the value of M and N. Yeah, what is the answer? Uh, yeah, I will come to one by one. So now come to this newspaper, Sam. Nakshatra, what is your problem? Which is you are not understanding? Which problem you are not understanding?
c is finite uh, look at that what is my c you please uh, tell me the integers less than 20 nakshatra integers less than 20 in next test 25 problems well okay nakshatra please tell me the integers less than 20 integers less than 20 what are the integers less than 20 nakshatra please answer So less than 20 means 19 uh, minus 1 to infinity x correct it is infinite only minus 1 to infinity it is going on up to infinity you you only writing up to infinity you can add that minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 up to minus infinity therefore it is an infinite one so therefore my c is infinite are you okay nakshatra Ah, that's all you have to include that negative some of the students are not thinking about that negative because look at the question my question is integer only not positive integers suppose i am giving positive integer then my set is finite okay but here it is not positive integer okay Okay, uh, what is the answer for that? In a survey of among 5,000 people, 2,950 read the Hindu paper, 2,800 read the Indian Express, and 900 read both. Okay, so therefore, how many people read exactly one of these two newspapers? So, how many of read exactly one of these two means? Look at that. Suppose Hindu paper only, number of persons number of people read Hindu paper only okay Hindu newspaper so totally how many people are reading 2950 Hindu only minus 900 why I am subtracting 900 so this is 2950 is representing the number of people reading Hindu paper. But here I am writing number of people read Hindu paper only. Because these people, 900 people reading both. That means they are reading Hindu and they are reading Indian Express. I am subtracting those people because they are these 900 people uh, reading both so therefore I am subtracting this okay so therefore this 2950 minus 900 is nothing but 2050 this is only Hindu now come to that number of people read only Indian Express Okay, so here Indian Express reading people are 2,800. Okay, so actually 2,800 people reading Indian Express, but here only, only means they are reading only Indian Express, that means they are not reading other papers. So that, before, but here also the 900 people are, okay, these 900 people are reading Hindu also. This 900 reading Indian Express also, reading Hindu also. So, so you just eliminate these 900 people from this group, then I will get it as the people, remaining people are reading only Indian Express. So therefore this 2800 minus 900, that is 1900. Okay, now add these two. What is the question? Again, read the question uh, correctly. My question is how many people read exactly one of these newspapers? How many people read exactly one of these? This means either Hindu or Indian Express. You have to add both. So therefore, my answer is, the question is, look at the question. The question is not how many people reading only Hindu, only Indian, but how many are reading only one paper? 
So this number of persons reading only one paper, this number of persons reading only one paper. Okay, so therefore this is 2050 plus 9,100. Okay, so this is your answer. Are you okay? So this is your 3,950. This number of people reading exactly one paper. Are you okay? Are you clear? Any other doubts? Okay, you please note the, very good. You please note the homework problems. Yeah, uh, Supraja, if you are applying this formula, what is your N of A union B? N of A union B means they have to read uh, anyone, okay, or both also, okay. So look at the question, read the question carefully and answer for the question, okay. So you please take the homework problems, try to. So today onwards, you please uh, do your homework problem sincerely and answer the question sincerely. Take that our Saturday test also sincerely and ask your doubts immediately to my number. Okay, if you have any doubt, you please ask me. Okay, immediately I will reply you. Okay. Right. So now look at that. Come to the homework problems. Express phi plus root two i divided by phi minus root two i in A plus IB form. Okay, this is a very simple question. So the answer for this question is, you please note the answer also, check your answers also, one plus two root two i. This is my first question. My second question is modulus of one plus i root three, two plus two i whole divided by root three minus i. What is the modulus of this? Find the modulus of. The question is find the modulus of this one. The modulus of one plus i root three, two plus two y divided by root three minus i. Okay, what is the modulus of this one? The answer is two root two. Check your answers also. And if z equal to seven minus i divided by three minus four i, then modulus of z power fourteen equal to dash. Z is given. You have to find out the modulus of z power fourteen. First of all. Uh, simplify this in A plus IB form and then find the modulus and then take the whole power 14. Modulus of Z power 14. What is the answer? The answer is 2 power 7. Okay. Find the multiplicative inverse of
find the multiplicative inverse of 3 plus 4i divided by 4 minus 5i. So this answer is minus 8 by 25 and minus 31 by 25 i. Okay. And the last question is only one more question. Find the value of modulus of root to i minus minus to y root over minus to y. Find the value of so this is also root root to i. Please note that modulus of root over 2i minus root over minus 2y okay find the value of this the answer is 2 so nothing wrong you please split into root okay so this is root 2 into root i this is root of minus 2 into root i Okay, so split into that and complete. Uh, first of all, you write it in A plus I B form and take a modulus. Okay, please try to complete these problems and submit it in your tomorrow's assignment. Nakshatra, what you are asking, what is your doubt? Calculating modulus in complex number in different from other, other sum. You see the de definition of. So you please see the definition of modulus nakshatra. See the definition of modulus number in real number modulus meaning is absolutely function. Okay, so you please see the definition. You are not uh, studying the definition of a modulus of a complex number. What is the meaning of modulus of a complex number? My modulus of complex number is the distance between the complex number and the origin. Okay, so look at that, our organ plane. So this is my complex number means. So I, I can take it as my z equal to a plus ib. So how to represent this complex number in my in my organ plane? So this is my a comma b. Okay, actually this distance is a, this distance is b. Okay, this distance is called as your modulus of z. Distance from origin to this number. This is my modulus. Modulus, it is not absolutely function. In real numbers, it is an absolutely function. Modulus of minus two is two. In complex number, this is a modulus nakshatra. You please go through the definition, argon plane. We have already discussed that. What is modulus? What is argon plane? How to find out the modulus? What is the formula for modulus? Okay, you please uh, once again go through that. Okay, how to find out this modulus formula? Apply Pythagoras theorem. This is 90 degree. Apply Pythagoras theorem, my modulus of z equal to root over a square plus b square. Root over this a square plus b square. This is my modulus of z. Are you okay? Nakshatra, okay? Now it is okay. Modulus means it is a distance between the origin and the complex number. Are you okay? Are you okay or not now?
next test is the relation and functions pa saturday test okay right thank you thank you all we'll meet in the next class please uh, be serious about our homework problems okay and the test problems these two are very important based on this only we are going to give our assignment mark internal marks okay thank you all thank you so much thank you everyone yes thank you kisho thank you vijay vijay narayanan okay please upload thank you everyone thank you so much thank you everyone